G'day. So if you've clicked on this, you probably know about the Cordwood Challenge from uh, the last few years. And uh, there's been a few changes. Um, Stephen Edholm has asked me to run the challenge this year. So hopefully uh, I do a good job and it's uh, you won't notice too much difference. Anyway, so this year um, we're going to do the same rolls as 2018. So you've got to cut a stack of wood eight feet long and four feet high. The logs themselves can be any length, but they must be cut with an ax. That includes felling, limbing, bucking, splitting. All of it has to be done with an ax. You can use a mole for the splitting, but they're not very useful, to be honest, for that kind of wood. Um, but yeah, no chainsaws, and you are allowed to use a handsaw on the back cut of a tree if you want to use wedges to fell it in a certain direction. But uh, yeah, so the majority, you only add an axe. The timing this year, we're going to start January 1st. I know it's uh, a bit past that, but um, if you've already started in January, then that's fine. And finishing on December the 15th. Um, the thing of the last few years is, yeah, it's encouraged people to do the challenge in a shorter amount of time, but... Um, there are laws in certain countries which mean you can't fell trees at certain times of year. So um, by changing it just to a full year, it simplifies it and allows uh, people who otherwise wouldn't be able to take part to have a go at it. Now, the main thing is you've got to take your own personal responsibility during this challenge. Um, you know, it's extremely dangerous, not just from cuts from your axe, but also from the hazards of falling trees and limbs and all that sort of thing, you know. Um, it's not for absolute beginners with no experience at all of forestry. You've got to understand felling um, and uh, hazards. So you, you know, you got to do your own research. Um, uh, you know, I can help each other out with questions, and um, there's plenty of videos out there. Um, check out Skillcop, for instance. He's got a very good playlist on a lot of stuff and there's books out there so the main thing is you've got to understand what you're getting into and understand how to do stuff safely uh, it's not something you want to be playing around of, around with and uh, learning from your mistakes as you go um, you know some of the injuries you can get from this can be fatal or uh, you know life-changing so it's, it's you know it's a very safe activity if you know what you're doing but um, not something to run into blindly I'd recommend wearing steel toe boots. Um, a steel toe will stop most cuts from an axe, but the main thing is uh, the side of the foot can be exposed. So it sometimes helps if you point uh, your toes towards the way your axe is cutting and uh, make the most out of that protection you've got. But uh, you shouldn't rely on them as, you know, it's a last resort thing if you make a mistake. Now, if there's young people like, uh, you know, wanting to do this challenge, then you've got to get uh, permission off your parents and uh, have them uh, email me um, just so I can make them aware of the risks. And, uh, you know, it, it's uh, something that, um, you know, a young person can get injured very, very quickly and if they're not sure what they're doing. So uh, you've got to get permission from me before you start using like a uh, axe cordwood challenge and using that in your videos and hashtagging everything so just be aware of that now if you go into this just to make a point and um you know i'm this challenge is just a guideline to your own development so um you know it's got to be do you've got to be doing it for your own reasons and you know there's no one saying you have to do this challenge at all. Um, you can start it and not finish it, but the main thing is is you've got to actually want to be doing it. Um, so if you do it and get injured and then come to me saying, why did you tell me to do this? Then it's not my fault. It was your, your choice to do it. Now, in this challenge, you're obviously cutting down trees. So you've got to make sure you understand um, what you're actually doing to that forest so 
you want to be careful with selecting the right cheese and uh, trying to minimize your harm to the forest to actually um, in many cases you're actually benefiting it by thinning out but just don't go cutting down everything you see now there's been a few people who haven't been able to take part in this challenge because of different reasons and um, you know they don't have trees they can cut down but they may have a supply of wood um, just in logs now this year what I'm going to do is the same rules as 2018 for um, what I'm going to call the fellas so if you do the challenge with the same rules as 2018 then you'll end up with um, completing the challenge as a fellow and that includes felling trees um, you're allowed to use any wood that's dead full as long as it's got limbs on it and hasn't been touched by a chainsaw so not all the stack has to be felled trees you've done yourself but you can use dead fall and all that now for people who don't have access to trees they can cut down I'm going to call it the buckers challenge and the rule is, is uh, you can buck any wood and split it and stack it one vic and the rule is, is you can't include any pieces of flat ends in your stack so um, the two ends you'll have from a chainsaw log you have to keep them separate but I think this is a good uh, opportunity for beginners or people without um, you know a forest they can cut to be able to take part in the challenge and improve their axmanship I'd also like to see um, some guys who are into hewing and like building log cabins and stuff they can take part in this as well so obviously if you're cutting trees and uh, into logs you can do the normal um, cordwood challenge and make your stack with that but also if you're hewing timber so flattening the sides you can record the square feet or square meters of the amount of timber you've hewn so you know if you do one side and it's uh, 50 centimeter by two meters that's four sides you can include in your um, tally so it'd just be cool to see how much timber someone can hew in a year I'm also adding in uh, a challenge called the big log challenge it's uh, similar to the um, Basque axman challenges so what you've got to do is cut one log um, in half just a bucking cut and it's got to be over 50 centimeters and the only rule is, is you've got to do it in one day so you can start in the morning and go for lunch and whatever but uh, you can't come back you know over the course of three days to cut that log it has to be done in one day now this is a good opportunity for people who don't um, have a lot of time to do like the full challenge and uh, you know you can kind of test yourself a little bit um, cutting a large log and it's quite a cool thing um, you know I've done a couple of them and uh, they are very hard work and whatever but uh, it's a big achievement so you can find and uh, keep up with the details for the Axe Cordwood Challenge on Facebook um, it's the Axe Cordwood Challenge page uh, and also check out skillcult.com and Skillcock channel. Um, I'll also be making update videos fairly regularly and if people want to ask questions in the comments or help them out as best I can. I'll also include my email so if you want to email me and ask a question or whatever uh, that's no problem. So the hashtags of this year are working axes and uh, axe cordwood challenge. Now I done this challenge uh, last year and I found it was a very uh, fun and rewarding experience. I improved my axmanship far more than I expected, uh, like improved my confidence at felling. And I feel like it's uh, quite a good survival skill. Uh, you know, I can cut, now I know I can cut a, quite a large quantity of timber in a day with an axe. And you may say, why not just use a chainsaw? Well, you know, this is the ultimate thing you can fall back on when everything else fails and you know very very portable and light and it doesn't run out of gas it doesn't blunt like a saw will um, well it will blunt but uh, it's easy to sharpen 
even hand saws are very difficult to sharpen and um, you know if you're not a specialist and you need a lot of tools to do that so anyway um, let's try and have no injuries this year there's been a couple in the past nothing too major but uh, you know it's not great having a trip to the hospital so let's try and do that as the main priority um, cutting timber is a second priority to that anyway good luck to everyone and uh, any questions please ask